chemical engineering is the same everywhere. Hold on a second, my friend. Let's compare some notes between Nigeria and the United Kingdom. Hey there, welcome to Chemins Weekly. Hey there, welcome to Chemage Weekly where we cover all things to do with chemical engineering from universities to careers. There's a sort of misconception that chemical engineering is the same across the globe, but this is not true. So to debunk this myth, I've enlisted the help of my good friend, Hassan Kigo, who also runs a YouTube channel, linked in the description down below. Today we're going to compare the UK and Nigeria in chemical engineering. So let's welcome Hassan. Thanks for having me on Chemage Weekly. It's an honor. This is actually my first collaboration with another YouTuber. So I'm really excited about it and I look forward to more collaborations in the future. For those that don't know me, I'm Hassan Kyugo from Nigeria. I also have a YouTube channel like he said about engineering and technology. Interesting enough, I wanted to have a channel too that focuses only on chemical engineering like he did but I decided to go wider so I'd have this flexibility to discuss and make videos even beyond chemical engineering. On my channel I mainly talk about my experiences while I was studying engineering and the lessons I got from my studies. I also try to help prospective engineering students with videos on different types of engineering so that they can have it easy when deciding which engineering they want to study. Because you would agree with me, sometimes it's pretty difficult to choose. These are the types of videos I've been making lately. Great to have you! It's going to be a great video, but let's add some stakes to make the video just that more interesting. Every round, Hassan and I will play rock, paper, scissors, and the loser every round has to do a forfeit at the end of the video, so make sure you watch right until the end to find out who loses, what the forfeit is, and get all the information. And without much further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start with studying a degree. How long is the bachelor's and the master's in chemical engineering in Nigeria? Well, the average bachelor's in Nigeria is five years. For engineering courses and other sciences, it's mostly five years. For engineering, the title is BH. For master's, it's MSc. And for master's, it's two years long. But I have to be honest with you that it doesn't always go as planned. You might end up doing a five years course in like six to seven years and that is due to some of the problems that occur in the education system in the whole country we have strikes by you know university associations and so on but i'm glad that they've been working to avoid that from happening and i hope from now on a five years course will be five years without it being six to even seven years and this issue that i mentioned is usually pertaining to the federal universities but if you go to a private university, you don't have all of these delays. A five-year course in a private university is five years. How about the UK? On average, the chemical engineering bachelor's is around three years and a master's is usually one year on top, making it four years. And the title of a chemical engineering master's is usually MSc or MEng. Round one. Okay, so how many modules is there in a typical Nigerian chemical engineering degree? Well, considering that it's on average five years, we do over 45 to 50 modules. In the UK, a typical bachelor's chemical engineering degree has around 24 to 26 modules across the three years. Round two. Is there a requirement to spend time in the industry to get a degree in the UK? In the UK, there is no hard requirement to spend a year in industry to get your chemical engineering degree, although you can choose to spend one year of your degree in an industry of your choosing. It's called a sandwich year where you don't actually study your degree at the same time, and we did a video on it, so if you check the iCard now, you'll be able to check that out. How about in Nigeria? Is it the same? Okay, just like in the UK, there isn't any requirement over here. Round three. Now let's talk about industries. What are the main chemical engineering industries in Nigeria? Well, considering how broad chemical engineering is amongst all the sectors, the main chemical engineering industries in Nigeria are oil and gas companies and the food industry. And I believe that is the case because Nigeria is blessed with petroleum and also it has a very fertile line, so it's into agriculture. If we take it more seriously, Nigeria can feed the world. Fantastic! In the UK, the main sectors are the oil and gas sector, the pharmaceutical sector, the up-and-coming renewables and energy sector, food and drink, decarbonisation and chemical manufacture. Round four. Now, what is the demand of chemical engineers like in the United Kingdom? 
In the UK, statistically speaking, the demand is medium to high given that chemical engineers have a high employability after graduating, but not all of them work in chemical engineering after graduation. According to a study by iChemE between 2010 and 2015, 59% of chemical engineers secured a job fresh off graduation, with 19% going on to further study, and around 10% being unemployed for a further six months before finding employment. It's quite difficult to find specific statistics for an industry for chemical engineers, but the greatest growth is seen within the green renewable energy sector. This is largely as a result of our transition to a net zero future, but what's it like in Nigeria? I don't have the numbers at my disposal, but I would say the demand for skilled chemical engineers is high and the field offers good salary structures. Trades in chemical engineering have excellent career prospects in industries such as oil and gas, the cement industry, food processing, recycling and renewable energy. Final round. What's the school for chemical engineering research in the UK? In the UK, we have quite a number of different fields for research, but I'll talk about Imperial College London since that's my home university. There are many areas of research even with Imperial itself for chemical engineering, but I'll name the top five. These are biofluids in the transport of drugs, cell engineering and chemical processes, clean energy processing and carbon capture, electrochemical energy generation and recycling, machine learning and pharmaceuticals. And how about Nigeria? What does its research focus on? Chemical engineering research is usually centered around a lot of things like producing biofuels, recycling, plant design and material science. Well, it seems like we've run out of questions and Hassan, it looks like you've won. As the winner, you can decide what the forfeit is. Hmm, that's a tough one. Well, I guess you have to post on your Instagram story that I am a better creator. Well, I guess it's only fair that we do that. Anyways, it's been a pleasure to work with you on this video, Hassan. So make sure everyone watching, you subscribe to both ChemEng Weekly and Hassan's video, which is linked down in the description below for more great chemical engineering and general engineering content. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep it steady.